Okay, so this will be the first problem of the DGD. Uh, it's problem 3.21. Um, I have the textbook open here on the side. 3.21, uh, which is this problem right there. So what we know we have is we have in this section right here, we have oil at a certain height. Um, and then water is filling up here. We know the diameter of the tube. So we know that the diameter of the tube is 6.35 millimeters. And then we also know that the volume of the tube, uh, sorry, the volume of the oil added is 3.25. Cubed. So this is kind of the given information right here. Um, and the question asks us to find the height h right here. So to find the height h, um, and then also an important detail is that it's atmospheric pressure at the top here at the oil and also at the top of the water right there. So these two points right here, we have atmosphere and then we also have P atmosphere right here. Now one thing of note um, is that for any continuous fluid, um, so in this case this would be the water that goes over here, if we take a section at the same height, so a section taken just like this, this height for continuous fluid will have the same pressure. So we know that the pressure here at one and the pressure here at point two, we know that the pressure one will be equal to pressure two. And again, that's because it's a continuous fluid and it's at the same height right here. So what we can do is knowing this little fact, well, we could find the pressure at one right here. So the pressure at one right there is dictated by the formula, again, we'll just do pressure at one. Um, pressure at one is equal to rho of the oil this time. And then g or gravity, and then the height. Well, the height here, we haven't defined it, but we can define this height here as this height here as h, little h. So is little h right here. Now the pressure at this point right here, uh, sorry, P2, pressure at P2 is equal to rho. This is the rho of water now in this case, not oil. G again. And then this height right here, well, if we write it in variables that we have in use already, well, this height right there would be h minus big H, right? And that would give us our height here. So because we know that this is a continuous fluid again, we can say that P1 is equal to P2, and therefore rho oil G H is equal to rho G H minus H. So we know gravity. We know the density of water. We don't know the density of oil. And we're looking for the height here. And we don't have this height here. But what is given to us, again, we have this diameter that is given to us and this volume that is given to us. Um, and so using a little bit of geometry, we, we can find the height h right here because we know the amount of volume of the oil added and we know the diameter of the tube. So 
what we'll do is, first of all, we'll find rho of the oil. And now if we look at the end of the textbook here, I have this page bookmarked. Um, notions on specific gravity right here. So the oil that we're using right there is this red oil right here that has a specific gravity of 0 0.827. Specific gravity formula right here uh, specific gravity is going to be the density of that the particular material or f sorry fluid over the density of water which means ooh, which means let's just go back to the problem here which means we can write the density of oil we know that the specific gravity of the oil is going to be the density of the oil over rho. And that's in this case, it's rho over water, which means, uh, and that was again, it was 0 0.27, I think. 0 0.27, which means that um, the density of rho oil is equal to 0. Point Seven times the density of water right there. So we can put that in our formula right now. And then we get 0 0.827 rho h is equal to, uh, sorry, there's a G, I forgot. Doesn't matter because it's going to cancel out anyways. But let's just write it down. G H is equal to rho G H minus big H right there. Now again, that goes away, that goes away, that goes away, that goes away. We're left at 0 0.827 h is equal to h minus big h right there. Now we can shuffle around um, this equation. We can shuffle around this equation so that we get get that H is equal to little h right here minus one minus eight point. Minus eight two seven right there. So now the only thing that we're left to do is to find H. So I'm just gonna write this here. We're gonna set a different color right here. So what is H? Well we know that the volume of the cylinder is equal to pi r squared, that's the surface of the cylinder, times the height, which is going to be h in this case right here. Um, now we can also write this as the volume is equal to pi is also equal to pi over 4 diameter squared times h. So if we want to solve for h, h is equal to 4 times the volume times pi d squared. 
squared just like this. Um, so now we just have to replace um, the variables. One thing of note is that these variables, so um, the density here is given in millimeters and the volume is given in centimeters cubed. So just a quick little conversion uh, for you guys. So that means that the volume right there, instead of being centimeters cubed, so we want to bring that, let's say the standard units, so we want to bring that to meters cubed, we'd have to do times 100 and then times 100 again and then times 100 again because we're in three dimensions, which means 10 to the minus 6. Um, which means that our volume here, so I'm just going to write down this equation. So h becomes h is equal to 4 times 3.35 times 10 to the minus 6 meters squared divided by pi and then our diameter here. While our diameter is in millimeters, we want to bring that to meters. It's 10 to the minus 3 and it's only one dimensions. So that means that it's 6.35 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. Now this gives us a final h of, I'm just going to calculate this real quick. Actually, just before I calculate it, um, we forgot that this is squared. So we enter all this into the calculator where our height, we're going to be meters squared squared, which means our answer is going to be meters, which makes sense. And so our height of oil is going to be 0 0.10 meters. Now the 0 0.10 Bring this over here. Oh, actually, I can write it a little bit more. 0 0.10 to, let's say. And then this answer, 0 0.10 times 1 minus 0 0.827. Um, we get that our final answer, h here, is going to be 0. 0176 meters or this can also be written as 17.6 millimeters and that's the problem